Welcome to the Not So Christian to Me show on the legendary KYLK 1140 AM and the all new 92.3 FM. I'm your host, Southern Girl Denise, hanging out in a beautiful studio in Houston, Texas on this beautiful Saturday. And I have beautiful, I have some beautiful guests in the building today also. Woo! Now you guys know that it's income tax time and it's time for us to like really manage our money more wisely um, going forward in 2024. And today we have some experts in the building. We're going to be talking about budgeting and individual reti- I mean, individual account, like the IRA, with no other than representatives from Prime Way Credit Union. Miss Lover Horace and Leslie Paulus are in the building. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, so much for being our special guest. We are so honored to have you guys here in the building. We we're always um, here at KYLK. We're always trying to inform the community and um, help bridge that gap. You know, a lot of people, um, they, they hear about information, but they don't really get the hands on, like talking to someone. So by you guys are being here, talking to our audience, letting them know like, hey, there are individuals that's out there that's, help, that's willing to help, you know, bridge that gap when it comes to financial literacy, because in our community, it's, it's, it's lost. Absolutely. We're lost Absolutely. when it comes to financial literacy. So um, briefly, tell us a little bit about, about, uh, about your role at Prime Way, a little bit about yourself and about your role at Prime Way Federal Credit Union. Okay. So my name is La Lover Horace, and again, thank you for having us today. Um, I am the Business and Community Development Officer with Conway Federal Credit okay. Union. That simply means I do almost any and everything related to the community. I go out to crawfish festivals, walks, runs. Okay. Anytime you see us with a tent and a table, we're giving out information, Good. free goodies. That's part of my role. Um, and I love everything about financial literacy. Good. Hi, I'm Leslie Paulus, and I am so happy to be here. Thank you. And I'm the IRA specialist for Prime Bank. Oh, good. And I uh, manage our members' IRAs, uh, audit them, uh, and I train our staff how to help our members with their retirement funds. Okay. That's my name. Oh, wow. So have you ladies been in the uh, financial um, financial um, industry for for a long time, how like how long have you guys been in the industry? So I'm going on about six years before okay. with Primeway. Um, I've I've been with Primeway for seven years, but I've been in the financial banking and credit union since 1984. Oh wow! So you guys have seen a lot of changes throughout the years, yes. Yes, <laughs> throughout ma'am. the years. And we're going to talk about those changes today. We're going to start out by talking about budgeting because I think that is so important. Um, learning more about how to budget our finances better. Absolutely. So t- for, for, for start, what is budget? What is a budget? <laughs> okay, first of all, a budget is nothing to be afraid of. It's nothing scary, but yeah. it is a written out plan Okay. that tells your money where to go mm-hmm. and what to do for you. Optimal gotcha. word, written. Like a lot that. of times we think we can do it in our minds and remember. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we can look at our phones before we go to the grocery store and yeah. see what's in the account. No, 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 that's not a budget. A budget is a well thought out, written out plan. Gotcha, and a lot of people don't even take out the time to do that. <laughs> they say, oh, I'm a budget for it, you know, or they'll say, uh, it's not in the budget, but how do you know if you haven't put it, you haven't it out. <laughs> Sometimes people think it's daunting, but it isn't. It's yeah. real simple, just a regular sheet of paper with okay. lines on a pen and pencil, mm-hmm. and just write it out. Okay. Write the budget and, and make, make it plain. plain. <laughs> write the budget and make it plain, yes ma'am. Okay, now is budgeting really important and why should we do it absolutely a budget is really important it's like your financial gps gotcha so imagine you're getting ready to go out of the country you get on the plane and the pilot doesn't know the route mm-hmm. that's exactly what your money is doing the money doesn't know the Don't route know it doesn't know where like to go that. until you tell it what to do and gotcha. where to go. so it's the same thing i like the um, whole concept of that yeah which is really important. We all can relate to flying. Yeah, and that's it, true. Even driving our own cars, yeah. not knowing where we're going. You need GPS. <laughs> you need the GPS. And guess what? If we get off track, what's the GPS tell us? Rerouting. Reroute. Rerouting. <laughs> and that's what we have to do throughout the month. We yeah. reroute or we adjust the budget. That's true. Um, and so you ask also, why is it important? You need to know exactly what you're spending mm-hmm. and where what you're spending is going. Yeah, yeah. So yes, it's very important, and that's exactly why. Gotcha. I like that. And how how do we budget? You pretty much just say just write it well, down. Well, you do write it down, but you have to know what to write down. Okay. So when you budget, you need to focus on two primary numbers. One, you need to know what is my take home pay. 
There we go. For your net. Mm -hmm. It's not that big number you see before it hits your account. You know, what's that final number that actually hits the bank account? Gotcha. That's your net. Mm -hmm. And then you also have to know what are my total monthly expenses? How much am I spending on child care? How much is housing, whether it's a mortgage or rent? Yeah. All of your insurances. You may have homeowner's insurance or renter's insurance, mm -hmm. car insurance insurance, or your cell phone, yeah. medical, vision, dental. How much are your total expenses? And you take those two numbers. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, I see you get rid of something. Because if your outcome is more than your income, that's your downfall. Say, oh, say that again. I know if how your say, outcome is more than your income, that's your downfall. That's, there we go. That's my late pastor, Dr. Seagull. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. Yeah. You have those two main numbers. Mm -hmm. You take your total household expenses mm -hmm. and you subtract it mm -hmm. from your net income, and they'll let you know if you're in the red, downfall, downfall, okay. or <laughs> if you're cooking with grease. I like that <laughs> cooking with grease. <laughs> I haven't heard that one in a while. I know <laughs> that's the southern girl in me. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. That's a good one. Yes, yes. Exactly. Exactly. And I, and I know a lot of times um, you have to like assess your accounts because you have so many um, things that's going in and out of your bank account. So once right. you get ready to you know assess it, you'll know how to better manage your budget as well. And guess what? Mm -hmm. If you have a budget, you're assessing your account through your budget. Exactly. It's right there exactly. In one place. There you go. You're doing everything at once. <laughs> I love it. Um, are there any budgeting resources out there? There are several. Okay. Several. So first and foremost, all of the fi financial service representatives at Brown with Federal Credit Union are there to help you. Okay. Uh, if you are a member, and if you're not a member, you can come on in and mm -hmm. see us Monday through Saturday. We're there. Also, if you are a member, we have a money management tool on our app called MX Money. Okay. And that's a budgeting tool for you. It's automated, which I know a lot of people love the automation. Yeah. So we have that availability for you as well. Okay. Um, and then you can use things like an Excel spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. You can use mint.com. You can use every dollar, which is Dave Ramsey. And I heard of every dollar. We, yeah. Everybody's heard of Dave Ramsey. Yeah. And so every dollar yeah. is his budgeting tool. It okay. tracks every dollar. Um, and we teach the Financial Peace University. So we okay. are certified to do that as well. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. So um, how can you, what are the um, qualifications to become a member? So to become a member yeah. of Crime with Federal Credit Union? You're you you selling in. it right now. Like, I want to I want to sign up right now. Listen, you can come in or you can go online through okay. the mobile app. Okay. And you just simply have to put $5 in your savings account okay. and you can become a member. Oh, that's we want something. you to have both a checking account and a savings account. Mm -hmm. So that $5 is locked and it gives you a savings account. Mm -hmm. But to also have a checking account. It's $25 and you have access to that money the same day. We make our debit cards for your account in-house. Oh, so you have access good. to your account and everything same day. That's what sets you guys apart from all the other <laughs> That's a few bankers. other things, but yes, that is definitely one of them. Okay. Well, please, please, please drop exactly. drop exactly. <laughs> please drop all the nuggets, you know, what you guys offer, you know. <laughs> well, we're a full service, full fleet financial institution. So anything that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. For your personal financing, checking, savings, CDs, yeah. things of that nature, credit cards, loans, mortgage, refinancing, okay. as well as for those who have business needs, small good. business, medium yeah. size, large business, we do everything. Oh, good, good. And Leslie here is going to be talking about helping you save that money. Since right. we do know it's tax time, yes, you need to know what to do with your income tax refund money, at least some of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we definitely going to tap into that as well. Absolutely. Um, what are some of the common budgeting mistakes? Well, number one, yeah. not doing the budget. <laughs> number two, yeah. okay, trying to do it in your head. Right. We live life, y'all, and life is life, and if I can yeah, say it that way. So sometimes we get super busy. We don't remember what we wore yesterday or what we sure. ate for dinner two nights ago. Mm -hmm. So how can we remember everything that's coming in and out fiscally? We don't know what we have coming out on the 16th of this month or the 23rd of this month. We just can't keep track of it. Yeah. So the first mistake is not writing out your budget or not having an app, a tool yeah. that you can look at in your hand. Gotcha. And then reviewing that budget. Those are some of the major mistakes I see. Okay, okay. I can definitely see that happening because I've, I've, I've done it. So I definitely understand that. Um, can can I budget if I have a irregular or variable income? Yes. Okay. And that might be a little bit uh, tricky for some people, but 
what you would do is you would do an average of what your income is. Okay. If you're commission only or you only get paid, like say once you close a house or something like that, you don't have a, a consistent budget, but you have to come up with some sort of average. Okay. And then you follow the typical budgeting procedures gotcha. that I talked about earlier. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, can you give us an example of how to create a budget or what a budget should look like for our listeners? Okay. So let's say you make $3,000 per month. And this mm -hmm. is what you're actually bringing in to your account. Okay. I want you to write that $3,000 down at the top of your budget. And then I want you to write out every single expense you have. Housing, whether that's mortgage mm -hmm. or rent, and write a number beside that. Groceries, write a number beside that. Okay. All of your insurances, write a number beside that. Child care, okay. clothing, entertainment so on and so forth i also want to make sure you put savings there we go because you have to save we do budget for savings find out what that total number is mm -hmm. and let's just say that amount is twenty seven hundred dollars okay three thousand minus twenty seven hundred leaves you with what three hundred dollars left over yeah. so we're cooking with grease, grease and that grease is hot <laughs> and then i want you to take that three hundred dollars that you have left over i want you to save some of it Okay. And Leslie is going to tell us what to do with some of that saved portion. Okay. Okay. So there's several different ways that you can save, right? Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about some of those ways. So there's there are several different ways. I love using my online banking so that I save on a regular basis. I program um, a certain amount of money to transfer to my savings account every payday. Okay. I don't see it. So that's even better. And I don't, it's not something I have to interact with and do every month or every payday. Therefore, I don't have a choice to not move the money. <laughs> yeah. So it, that's very important. And the other ways, if your job has a 401k, take advantage of that. Absolutely. Uh, I have so many people that only do the minimum. That's something. A lot of minimums, uh, contribution percentages, mm -hmm. are 3% of your salary. And, you know, in 40 years, you still want to live like you live now. You still want to have a lifestyle that wow. you can sustain. So it's part of that budgeting process. You know, when as your salary increases, increase those contribution limits to your retirement and to your savings. A little, you know, make those changes along the way and um, have that emergency fund. There we go. You know, Very it's, uh, I, I lived in St. Louis and there was a period of time when I got laid off mm -hmm. and it was um, almost four months before I found a job. Wow. Well, the only thing that saved me was that emergency. I regularly saved and I could continue to pay my bills for that four months. No, I didn't go out to eat, but you know, <laughs> I could continue to, cook. to pay my bills. You know, I cooked and yeah. took walks and watched the TV. You know, right? Um, make those spending adjustments. Um, and I, I think the hardest thing about a new budget or working to pay off your debt and budgeting for that, it's the behavior change. There we go. That comes along with it. Yeah. Um, I, I too had uh, was at forty five and had way too much debt uh, from the sins of my thirties. And uh, yeah, I, I like how she put that. <laughs> I, I gotta pay this off and oh. before I get to my fifties. And I use the financial literacy that we teach with yeah. Dr. Dave Ramsey and the um, uh, debt snowball and all of that. I, I use that. I'm telling you, it took me six years to do it, but I felt so much better. And now I only have two credit cards. And when they start getting close to a thousand dollars, I start sweating. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. So you know, it's it's continually, you know, watching that. Uh, I was joking because I fell off my budget wagon in November, and December, <laughs> and I'm struggling a little bit now to get yeah. back back on it. Um, but at the same time, even when you're struggling to catch up and all that kind of thing, still uh, save something automatically that mm -hmm. you don't touch that gotcha. you really try not to touch and just because you're having to pay off bills and all that kind of stuff that 401k that you're participating in or those ira funds mm -hmm. man those need to be the last place you go for money 
Absolutely. Because if you're under 50, you're going to pay 20% for that money. Wow. And that yeah. so decreases the value and the hard work that you put, that you put, to put into it, it. That's true. Yeah. You just, I mean, oh my gosh, I, it's um, the expense of that. It, you'd be better off waiting a little longer before you could accumulate the funds to just pay for whatever you need. Right. So it's a discipline and it's not fun. I, uh, for three years, I felt like I was working for absolutely nothing, that I was deprived and I felt sorry for myself from time to time. And that's what many Americans feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just, and, but, you know, it's a big difference when you think of your money as a tool. Yeah. It's a tool for your security. It's a tool to support you and your family. And we want to get to where you're telling your money where to go instead of your money always dictating how you live. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, I'm a big proponent of, it really doesn't matter how much you make. Mm -hmm. It matters what you do with it. Do with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. because you can, you can make it grow. You can make you it, can. make it. Oh, go ahead. That's why. That is exactly why having a written plan is so important. It's written out. You've thought it out, which is why it's a plan. Yeah. That equals low stress. And yeah. you can reroute just like the right. GPS on paper when necessary. Mm -hmm. So I just want to encourage everybody. Right. And you take an ownership in it when you mm -hmm. do that. Yes, ma'am. You definitely take an ownership in your finances and you take control of your finances and your finances exactly. not controlling you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just like that. We're going to um, keep this conversation going, but we have to take a quick break. But don't you guys go nowhere. We're going to continue talking about financial literacy. If you guys have a question, comment, or concern, please call us in at this time at 281-453-1000. 281-453-1000. And we'll be right back. Oh, I just took this one off. This one is still on. I was going to say, anything going up? Yes, we did get those questions. We did, we did. We're going to, you know, tap into some more as we go. Yeah. We still haven't talked about none of this, so we can get more. You good? Yeah. Any, any amazing things. I don't know if you want to talk about whatever you have. I said, let me the glow real quick. Say one more time. Okay. Look, was my bad straight or was it crooked? I think me moving. Okay. Oh, you said what now? You go send it to me. Okay. She has like a poor song that I don't know.
So we'll just talk about the different ways to um, you know, save money and I know you said save it in emergency funds and what else did we happen to all of them? Not all of them. A money market savings. Did we times. talk about that? I don't think we talked yet. Yeah. We can talk, yeah. we can talk um, about that before we go into the IRA. That way we can fill in the gap with the time. Yeah. With the time. Yeah. Um, I guess so. How do you want to ask the question? But I just want to make sure I go in. Do not shoot them. So I'm going to say that when you know, start, you know, just so. Uh, and then I'll talk about, you know, we have that uh, round up. Yeah, what's it called? Is it called that? That's a perfect. But I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. And you can just say, go out there after several, seven hours, even if you spend a lot of time, you don't have to help yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to jump in, we're going to start back talking about the saving, and you talk about that, and then you were mentioning something about... Well, the, just, this is for the budget piece. Okay, I just want you to know that when they're working their budget, mm -hmm. don't shoot for perfection the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. Okay, so we can jump into that. Part. I want to take the stress out of it, and then I'll say, once you have your budget, remember you've got, in my example, $300 left over to save, mm -hmm. this is going to tell us what to do with that save. With the save. Okay, we'll do that. So maybe you can ask me, um, maybe you can say, if you had one golden nugget or something with savings, what would it be? Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll say, don't shoot for perfection. Okay, cool. And then I'll tee that to her. Okay. Yes, you can. Welcome back to the legendary KYOK 1140 AM and the all new 92.3 FM on the Not So Christian to Me show. And we left out, left off talking about savings and the different types of savings. Um, Miss um, Miss Lover, tell us a little bit about one nugget that you can tell us about savings. So, what one nugget I would suggest about budgeting is do not shoot for perfection yes. it is okay start out with your first budget see how that goes for you then do a second budget mm -hmm. the next month or maybe even redo that same budget the same month. Right. don't shoot for perfection your first five times it is okay to rewrite it rework it because budgets are always changing yeah. so that would be my number one go-to nugget for you do not shoot for perfection Give yourself grace. I love that. I love that. A lot of times we don't give ourselves grace. We, we so hard on ourselves. Enough. That's correct. <laughs> we are so hard on ourselves. Now, speaking of the types of um, savings, tell us a little bit about the different type of savings, Miss Leslie. So there's um, there's our basic savings account, and that is just a daily savings to start accumulating um, that emergency fund for yourself. Once you get over twenty five hundred, you'll find that most um, institutions and us included provide a, a option of a money market savings okay. account. Now at a credit union, a money market savings account isn't attached to the stock market at all. Mm -hmm. It's just for people who have more than $2,500 that stays in their savings most of the right. time. Okay. And the interest rate's a little bit higher in, until they get to $25,000. And then after that, there's a rate increase. And then after $75,000, there's a rate increase. So it's, it's meant to be that savings that is your wealth that that you can still access it because it's not put in anything that has time limitations on it right right just a way to make it grow a little faster once you get 2500. Okay. now part of we have instituted a new tool called positive pay as well that helps you uh, to add to your savings account while you're spending and what it does is when you use your debit card to per make a purchase, you go mm -hmm. out to dinner, here's your fee, it will, whatever the difference is, it'll round it up to the next dollar. And those that change is going to automatically go to your savings account. I like that. I and like that. I, I will mm -hmm. tell you, I signed up for it and I didn't realize 
um, how quickly it helps you. Yeah, it pays you. Yeah. It, it, pays pays yourself. it helps you grow. You know, so hopefully along with that $25 or $50 a paycheck that you can put in that savings automatically, set up that automatic transfer for yeah. yourself on your online banking. That will just be the icing on the cake. And truthfully, mathematically, it makes it a lot easier to track what you're spend, where your balance is, right. and, um, because you don't have all those pennies to look to look at. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. It's kind of messed up. So. Yeah. <laughs> How long has that been around, the positive pay? We have started that last year, I think. So oh, recently. Okay. It, it is a tool. It's not exclusive to Primeway, okay. um, but it definitely is. We have a lot of our members that have signed up for it, and I, I like it. I think it's an easy way to put money back. It is. It the, is. the other way, the other product that we have is our certificates of deposit. Okay. And that we have one that we call our Wealth Builder Certificate. What it does is you put a certain amount of money away for a certain term, a period of time, six months, 12 months. And depending on the term, we'll guarantee you a particular interest rate on that money. Okay. The catch is don't take it out before it matures because you'll oh, there'll be a little bit of a penalty. Gotcha. That's so, right. but it's um, the Wealth Builder CD is a great starting place. You can start it with five hundred dollars, and the plus is that you can actually make deposits to that oh. until you put in an additional five hundred dollars. So let's say you put five hundred dollars uh, for twelve months, and you decide, well, you know, I'm going to earn a little bit more money on the part money that I'm going to savings. So I'm going to have twenty five dollars deposited to that CD, and I'll just do twenty five to my regular liquid mm -hmm. savings that I can get get to in and out of. And once you um, get to that total of a thousand dollars, you have the option of any term certificate that we offer because that's the minimum balance required for that. Okay. Okay. I like that. You guys have several options available. So there's no excuse for people to not we, save. No, <laughs> yeah, we want to we help you yes. start that. And, yeah. and especially with youth, with children. I was getting ready to ask that, Yeah. That. There, yeah. You will have a savings for kids. And okay. then we, once you get $250, okay. you can put that in our youth CD and you can make deposits to that CD. Okay. It's a 12 Good. month and it'll continue to re renew every year until they're 18. You you can uh, really increase the value of the money you're putting away mm -hmm. by putting some of it in that youth certificate, it'll grow faster. Right. And um, then some in the savings in case you do need to access yeah. some of that birthday money. Or that <laughs> that's true. Money. And that's so important, you know, making sure your money grow. While it's sitting there, you wanna make sure it grows, especially for your, your children. Yeah. So when they graduate high school, they have, you know, some money that was being saved up for them for, exactly. for college graduation, for college trips. You know, yeah. Um, boot, boot, I mean, boot, boot. I mean, I'm sorry, like high school graduation, oh, high school trip. Oh. Yeah, that was. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Tuition and fees, yeah. all Ooh, those things. All that stuff yeah. going, is going up mm -hmm. tremendously every year. So, absolutely, it's, absolutely. Any little bit that we can save helps. <laughs> and for kids in the IRA realm, okay, we do offer the Coverdale IRA. It's Coverdale Education IRA, mm -hmm. and it's an IRA that is in that child's name. Uh, that a guardian is also the person that oversees that account mm -hmm. until they're 18 or after. Okay. And you can contribute up to $2,000 a year and that's tax free money. And they're not like an IRA. You're not going to pay taxes on that money until you take it out. And because it's an education IRA, you, I do not believe you will pay taxes. Okay. So imagine if you do $2,000 a year, dollars a year, oh, you mm -hmm. can, right. um, for 18 years, well, you've got $36,000. And it's grown a little bit, yeah. so, so it's, it's, it's um, a good tool. For those who don't know what is an IRA, can you um, give us more information about what exactly an IRA and what um, does it stands for? Certainly. Sorry about that. That's okay. The individual retirement account mm -hmm. is what that stands for, and the federal government uh, provided uh, the guidelines and regulations for that okay. um, in uh, 1974 with traditional IRAs, which is our retirement money that you contribute to in order to get a tax deduction on that money the okay. year that it's the year that you make that contribution okay so every year there's limits for how much you can contribute to a traditional or a Roth IRA so the Roth IRA is made with after tax money it's not deductible okay. on your taxes but it's still a good investment because 
you don't pay taxes on it when you take it out. Gotcha. So like there's that. two different, two different main ones. things. Mm -hmm. um, which ones do you guys see the most at, at your bank? We still see, yeah, we still see mostly traditional, but more and more people um, are are looking into the raw. And I myself uh, just recently, Primeway allowed our 401ks to go into a raw. Okay. And I started doing that because I'm over 60 and I, I have a backlog of 401k that's all traditional and I'll pay taxes on it when I take it out. Okay. Um, so now it's like, well, I'm still working. So why not just put that back for retirement and not have to pay taxes when it comes that out? Makes sense. And my mm -hmm. beneficiaries won't either. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's really good. Good information. Yes, okay. Sir. So um, what kind of IRAs does Primeway offer? Well, we offer the traditional, the traditional IRA, okay. which is uh, pre-tax money. We offer the Roth IRA, which is uh, funded with after-tax money and not tax deductible. We have the Coverdale Education. Mm -hmm. And we also have the SEP, which is a simplified employer plan. And we don't have a lot of those, but okay. as our small businesses grow, uh, they can use that. The owner, it can be an employer of one. It can be the owner of the um, business mm -hmm. and they can Put that back and they have the similar um, guidelines as a 401k so uh, what that means is that in a 401k you can contribute more money to that more of mm -hmm. your salary to that than you can to an individual retirement account okay so if you're under 50 like this year the limit is um seven thousand dollars a year that you can contribute to individual retirement accounts um if you're over 50 they call it the catch-up catch-up taxpayer <laughs> uh, because you're trying to catch up after you send all those kids to school um it's eight thousand dollars a year and but with a um, 401k the maximum is uh twenty three thousand in 2024 so the government sets these limits and mm -hmm. uh covid has uh legislation for covid the secure act this year secure act 2.0 has increased those limits in order to help people save for retirement because the reason is we want to say because we don't want to have to rely on all government yeah, uh, programs so program, and yeah. that's why they were developed so that people would have some savings built up to enhance their retirement and um, it would lessen the burden on governmental subsidies. And what's the minimum amount that you can um, put towards a IRA? There's $25. No... You oh, can open it. an IRA here at Prime Wave for, for $25. Oh, that's good. Is that the average? Is $25 is the average? That's, yeah, I think that's probably Across the board. at most institutions you okay. can open it with a small amount. Okay. It's once you get into investments and um, uh, stocks, stocks oh, mutual okay. funds, you know, things like that, that requires more. Okay. And when can the person start contributing to an IRA? As long as they are working. Okay. If there is no minimum age. It has to be earned. In earned. Time. There we go. <laughs> earned earned income. In <laughs> Keyword. Earned, earned income. Earned income. Earned income. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And a social security number, right? That's, that's helpful, yes. <laughs> right? Make sure you have a social security number. I love it. <laughs> now, what's the difference between, I know we talked about the IRA and the 401k, but I know a lot of people have, you know, they don't really understand the difference between the two. So tell us a little bit of the difference between those two. The main difference is the 401k is associated only with your employer. Okay. Pardon me. So as long as you're working for the employer and have, the ability to contribute to that, that's your 401k. Um, and there's some additional perks with that. Um, 401ks, generally, you have the ability to borrow against them. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You do not have the ability to borrow against an individual retirement account. Oh, okay. So there's the nice advantage between a 401k is number one, you're, you're able to contribute a little more than the required uh, maximum wow. for an individual retirement account. Um, it's also invested in many different things. Okay. So you have a good pool of investments to help that money so grow. A diversified portfolio. There you go. I a like diversified that. portfolio. Yeah. Louise, sorry. <laughs> and um, uh, and uh, so that's that's the flexibility with, with oh. the 
401. Okay. And company. you can increase your contribution percentage in most in most employee pers- uh, situations. Mm-hmm. Um, the individual retirement account is totally under your control. Where where you invest it is where you decide. Okay. Primeway, we help a lot of our members who are retiring or getting ready to retire roll over their 401k because there's a point when they want to take it out of the business's um, control and they'd rather direct it themselves. Mm -hmm. And so we are definitely, um, uh, we're definitely want to be a lot of help Mm -hmm. in educating you and what their options are. You know, we have IRA savings and IRA certificates of deposits. We also partner with, um, and we've partnered with the investment firm LPL Financial for many years. And um, he he can uh, offer a total financial plan for somebody's retirement because he's a certified financial planner. Okay. And uh, his name is Robert Bruns, and we I love dealing with him. Um, he partners with me at our branch in the Methodist Hospitals um, branch that we have at TMH uh, once a week. Okay. So that we can address um, the medical professionals' concerns about retirement and being prepared for that. Okay, sounds good. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to keep this conversation going. But don't you guys um, go anywhere. If you guys well, um, like, a, if you guys have a question, please call in at this time, 281-453-1000, 281-453-1000. Keep it locked. We'll be right back. I forgot to say that I'm a certified financial counselor. Oh, I am. I just I add that always, to the, the, the end. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote that down. So like, I forgot to say that. As soon as you said that about how me, I was like, sweet that say a like me. Uh, I was a man. was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, yep. but now Actually, I see. So was great. She did a cover that told my heart. Mercy me. Uh, and what is the best mercy me cover? My fears. Just hopefully things like this all got you. It in the any popular temple man side. Any any popular temple man side. She kills all of them. The I guess her most recent one would be a good one. I can't remember it, but I can't think of it just because yeah. I'm here and see. Yeah, that's how I, um, my chains I are gone. I've been saved. Go again. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. So we're working the way to say that we have seven locations. Oh yeah, and we have one virtual. Okay. Yeah, I think it's like we can call it in. You know, you can talk to us about locations. Yes, and then you can you can just throw in if you want to say, "Don't worry about the other locations." Oh, where do you think you might? Yeah, I'm gonna start off on that. I was gonna ask about. Um, how often do you guys offer financial literacy classes and then they go back to But I wrote it down. I teach so many. And then you can talk about the counseling classes. Yeah. He will like, my shield and shield my shield and portion me as long as life endures. My chains are Like snow, 
the sun for bear to shine but God who called me below will be forever mine will be Welcome back to the Not So Christian to Me show on the legendary KYOK 1140 AM and the all new 92.3 FM. That was CC Winans with Amazing Grace. Um, we left off talking about budgeting and individual IRAs with um, Prime Way Credit Union representatives, Ms. Lover Horace and Leslie Paulus. And Ms. Leslie was telling us a little bit about the difference between uh, an IRA and a 401k. My question to you, Leslie, is is there a way that people can take some of their 401k and convert it to an IRA or put some of that money into an IRA? Generally, you can't really take the money out of a 401k until you have separated employment with that employer for at least 30 days. Okay. So as long as you're working there, it's going to stay in that 401k. And after, after that, you can move it to an individual retirement account. Okay, and vice versa. What about an IRA transferring some of those funds to a 401k? Is that you, possible? You can roll it over into 401k. Um, if uh, I did, uh, I did that with my previous employer's 401k. Okay. I had put it in an IRA, and then I went ahead and rolled it to Prime Waste, my 401k here. So, okay. it's, possible so it's possible to do too. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any stipulations? And, <laughs> mm, <laughs> sometimes there's a time period you can roll over one a year. Um, but uh, the good thing about that is, is that you don't forget about a 401k that's hanging out there from 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. A small, you know, you work for five years and, oh, I forgot I did that. So if, when you separate from your employment, I think it's a, it's a nice idea to change yeah. it to an IRA because it can always be uh, combined with your next employer. Right. Okay, good, good. Now, how can Primeway help me invest in stocks and bonds or mutual funds or annuities or long-term care? Well, Primeway partners with our investment firm, the LPL Financial LLC, okay. in order to provide those options to our members um, through a licensed investment advisor. And that, Robert Bruns is his name. We'll talk a little about that. Okay. He's also a certified planner. So with his partnership, we can provide, we can set up uh, an appointment with him at any of our locations that you can meet with him or he even comes to your home oh, good. Um, to help. And uh, okay. if you're, whether you're five years or five months from retirement, you know, having a conversation with him is, is helpful. Again, like a budget needs a roadmap your retirement needs a, a roadmap yeah, because I, I can't tell you how many of my members I've come as and I have come to me and they say, Hey, I retire next month. What do I do now? Yeah. Because that's it. We've worked so hard to put it back. How <laughs> do we take it out? And what do we do with it during our retirement to help it to grow? And so that if, if we need it, we can use it. If we don't, we can wait till we're 73 and yeah. we have to start taking some of it. Right. But, right. Okay, I like that. Um, why would I? Um, why would I have a IRA with Primeway instead of an investment firm? Well, primarily because Primeway provides a safe, federally insured place mm -hmm. to deposit those retirement funds. Okay. Um, it makes it easy to access them in your IRA savings here at Primeway, um, especially when it's time to take out that required minimum distribution which is the time period when Uncle Sam wants to start getting his taxes on the money you've earned before. Um, right now, because of the Secures Act, you can wait until 73 to start taking that out. So you can put funds into IRA certificates to earn higher dividends on that money uh, that you don't have to access for a period of time. Okay. Um, at this time, we have a caller that called in and they would like to ask a question. The caller, the caller asked about a CD. Is it better to purchase CD from a bank or a credit union 
and would it be the interest rate that would be the difference as to where they go? That's a good question, caller. Thank you so much, caller. That is a good question. And primarily the interest rate is the key factor. You, you want to go to where your money can earn the best for you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love a credit union simply because of our business model and our focus on our members. Mm. Uh, I have many members that when it comes time to renew their CDs, they'll check with us. And um, yeah, maybe we may not have the highest rate, but it's like, no, I want you guys taking care of my money. And that's what we're here for. Okay. I do have one too. <laughs> <I got> one. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, uh, a, a bond? Someone has, has uh, for someone, well, let me use myself, a bond that my dad had for me. I have two of them. Uh, they were all little. So what, what process do I go to uh, redeem that? That is a great question because uh, so many of us have these socked away that you know our parents, our aunts, our uncles gave to us as a gift. Um, those savings bonds will earn interest for 30 years from the date of issue. And all you do is go to, your, go to our teller to cash it. You need your identification. We ask that you have a, an account with us. And um, so in order to I have to have an account with Right. Okay. Yeah. Any any bank. Most banks will. Most banks and credit unions will cash savings bonds if you wherever you bank, um, and you would go in person, and it's it's relatively easy. Um, they'll give you the value of the bond. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised. And um, I I was, I'm grown. I, I, you know, I'm be surprised. You know, I am telling you the sweetest story I have on that is a member that. Um, she was 30 and she's decided you know what i'm going to go finish school and she's just she went back to college and a year later her mom passed away and so they were you know going through her mom's stuff and she found this stack of savings bonds and she said i know it's only a few thousand dollars it was twenty thousand dollars wow and she said oh my gosh my mom still paid for my education Wow. I need to run to the bank and all that. Yes, you do. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. And you, I, I have two. I have two. And, and I'm, I'm going, well, what do, you, what do you do with it at this point? So I have to do what to yeah. And Linda J., I want to add this to that. Um, Leslie, thank you. You did a yeah. great, great job. Why a credit union? And I'm going to say why Primeway in particular. Mm -hmm. You want to work with someone who really is passionate and cares about you. We really care about our members. Yeah. We take our time. It's not our goal that we're trying to reach. It's yours. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you're a member of a credit un union, you have ownership of that credit union, right? Mm -hmm. You have a say. We have an annual meeting every year. Okay. You come to those meetings. You vote because you have a voice. You can that. say what you want to see more of or what you like to see less of. And when you come in, we extend that. We're sitting down with you one-on-one -on -one, or you and your significant other or your children, the whole family. And we meet you exactly where you are. And we help you come up with the GPS and yeah. we'll help reroute you when necessary to reach the goal that you said you wanted to reach. So that's really important. I want you to understand you're working with someone who's partnering with you to reach your financial goals and manage your financial portfolio. I love that. And, and I forgot to mention earlier, guys, I am a certified uh, financial <laughs> counselor. I okay. advise with a counselor, counselor okay. which means, and I have that from um, the National uh, Credit Union Association, so I can go anywhere in the country. Oh, wow. Right? Um, but it's really important to know, credit unions will meet with you one-on-one, -on -one, hold your hand, and guide you through the process. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that because when I was growing up at, when I was growing up, my parents would always go to the credit union. They, yes, I mean, they were dedicated yes, members of a credit union. I'm like, what, what is it about this credit union? That, like they now I see. Yes, you know, like the the, the passion that, that the employees at the credit union had towards their clients and how dedicated they were. Yes. and it was more like a family family base. You know, it was um, more like a part, like you said, a, part, a partnership. It was a partnership. Absolutely. And they, they strive hard to, you know, help my family, you know, get the, the financial literacy that they needed. And and I just appreciate the foundation that credit unions have put in place. It's truly a yeah. holistic approach, it right? Is. You're not just it a credit is. score or a number. It's looking at you in totality. <clears throat> right, right. I love that. I, I love think that. I have a, uh, an account already. I really do. You need well, to look into that. Yeah. I, I think <laughs> 
and, and we recently changed those accounts. We have three instead of the 30,000 we had. I said it jokingly, but yeah. we do have the good, better, and best. And with the best account, you get some freebies. I mean, some real good freebies, like cell phone okay. reimbursement for you and the whole family, free AAA, discounts, and okay. theme parks, and movie tickets, and a whole host of things that you get no additional cost. And that's part of those accounts, to type that, particular that is, accounts. Correct. Okay, so Correct. tell us, uh, how can we find you? Find you all, because I'm okay. like ready to sign up right now. <laughs> so we have seven locations. Okay. Um, our closest location to the station here is uh, the Greens Point location, okay. where Cypress, the Heights, 290, we're in the medical center mm -hmm. inside of That's Methodist where, Hospital yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at Smith and Scarlock oh, Towers. Mm -hmm. We're in Missouri City and we're also in Sugar Land. And for those who say, you know what, I just want to let my fingers do the walking or deal with you guys with my cell phone, we have a virtual retail center. Wow. So you can do everything with us <laughs> virtually. You never have to come in if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. So we check all the boxes. Oh, good, good. <laughs> go, <girl>. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So tell us, um, how often do you guys um, offer the financial literacy classes? Did you already mention that? I so, did not. Okay. So we offer financial literacy as often as we absolutely can. Okay. Uh, my department in particular, uh, we do a lot of financial literacy. So mm -hmm. we partner with schools, elementary, middle school, high school, even colleges, um, and the hospitals. Oh, in the Anderson Methods, just to name a couple. Mm -hmm. So whenever we have a request, and we'll find out how many, what's the age group, mm -hmm. um, what, what is it that you want us to teach on. We'll set the date. And if we are able to make it out and don't have a schedule conflict, yeah. we'll be there. Okay. I like that. I like the partnership. So are you guys um, looking to partner up with any other organizations this year or we anybody in the pipeline right now? That you, we're that always, you open, <laughs> always open to working with anyone mm -hmm. um, that we can help because we truly do give back to the communities that okay. we serve. And as, as you heard, we have seven diff different physical locations and a retail center. So we do everything we can throughout the city of Houston and surrounding areas. I like that. Now, would you guys like to add anything else um, about budgeting and individual accounts that you have not um, tapped, that you not that you did not talk about today? You know what, for budgeting for me is just get started. Don't mm -hmm. shoot for perfection and just get started. Pen and paper, and then you can do the snazzy apps and everything after, Later. but just get started. You need to know how much am I spending and how much am I bringing in? Am I in the positive or am I in the negative? Leslie, would you like that something? Oh, I, uh, mine is essentially the same. If you're uh, hoping to one day retire or, or just start, just start doing something. Look at what opportunities available to you now through your work mm -hmm. and uh, come call me. I'm happy to help you walk you through anything. Okay. Would you like to share your um, contact information? Absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm Leslie Paulus and I'm the IRA specialist at Primeway and my direct number is 713-799-6514. And you can call or text me and I'll respond as soon as possible. Okay. And you can also reach our customer service department at 713-799-6200, 713-799-6200. All right. Thank you so much. Now, do you have any other contact information for you for you personally? Or? I am in the field a lot like I am right now. Okay. When I leave here, I'm actually going to the Crawfish Festival to work there. That's, so that's why you mentioned it earlier. That's, that's why. I started yeah, getting hungry when she said the that. The customer <laughs> service number is going to be your best bet, but I promise you they'll give you my email information and I will respond. Thank you, ladies, so much for being our special guest. I, I pray that something that was said today that will bring you guys more uh, partnerships and more clients and more uh, fulfilling um, things in your your job you know and i just pray that people are able to um, finance better budget better and just um be mindful of their spending <laughs> for one like you said miss miss um uh, lisa yeah leslie so thank you guys again and i pray many blessings upon you in 2024 thank you, thank you, as always if you guys if you guys would like to be a guest on the Nasa Christian Me Show, please feel free to reach out to us on Instagram and Facebook. And remember that no matter what you guys are going through, God will always see you through. We're going to take you out with Change Me by Tamala Mann. Change me, oh God. Make me more.